Hello friends, this is Strawberry Jelly and today I want to share with you a guide on how to be fashionable in PSO2 and GS. I will be talking about the AC and SG scratch tickets, what exactly these are, how you can get the currency for them, what to look out for in a new scratch release, etc. I will also be covering how to get outfits from the marketplace, what to watch out for in terms of prices, how to save your looks using the in-game system for a quick outfit change and a few other relevant things. Feel free to skip through the chapters to find the points that interest you as I will be covering a lot of things in this guide. But first, if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you're interested in the game and of course in cosmetics. I personally love cosmetics and I'm very motivated by them, which is why I ended up making this video. So let's get started. So the scratch tickets are essentially the way of getting cosmetics in the game. Quick disclaimer, there is also the battle pass which is called mission pass in the game, but as of the time of making this video, it hasn't been implemented yet. So the AC and SG scratch tickets is a gacha system where you need a specific currency in order to make pulls. The type of currency you need for each scratch is basically in the name. You need SG, which are star gems to pull on the SG scratch, and AC to pull on the AC scratch. Star gems can be earned in the game through login events, Sega gives them out as part of special events, but of course you can also buy them through spending real money. Uh, but in my opinion, it's a fairly common currency you will be accumulating bit by bit. AC, on the other hand, is the premium currency, meaning that you need to spend real money in order to get them. I think Sega gives them out rarely, but I'm not sure, since I'm a new player. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. The SG scratch usually lasts for about 2 months, while the AC scratch is less than that. I think it's around 2 weeks. Or at least that's how things have rotated at the beginning of BSO2 and GS. Currently, you get one free pull on the SG Scratch Daily, which is great as you have a chance of getting what you want without spending any of your currency. For the AC Scratch, there is a list of extra rewards you can get just by doing pulls. If you go on the Scratch Count bonus, you see the rewards you will receive based on how many times you have pulled. I think this is a great system because it rewards you even further for making pulls. The great thing about this is that after a specific number of pulls, you're rewarded with a ticket, which can be exchanged for any prize you want from the price list. I really like this idea of being able to choose your reward because it places a ceiling on your spending and you know that you can get the item you want after a maximum of 30 pulls by using that exchange ticket. Of course, going down the line, you can see that there are other exchange tickets as rewards, so for example, Say you want two particular items, you can have them guaranteed in this way. Now, I will be doing some math in order to calculate the cost in real money for both scratches. Please keep in mind that you don't have to spend any real money, you can still get these rewards by spending the normal in-game currency, which I will talk about in a little bit later on in this video, so please stay tuned. But for now, here's how much real money the scratches cost. If 12 pulls cost 2200 AC, you will need 5500 AC to do 30 pulls. So you need to buy two packs. The first one is the one that gives you 5150 100 AC and the other one gives you 500 AC. Combined, this will cost you around 44 pounds. In my opinion, it's a bit expensive for a pixel-made commodity of your choice, but on the other hand, things could be worse. Now for the SG, the prizes are a bit different. As you can see, here you can only get two prize exchange tickets and nothing else. And for the first one, you need to have made 40 pulls. If 10 pulls cost 500 SG, then 40 pulls will cost 2000 SG. It seems that you purchase SG by exchanging AC. On the screen you can see the different pack options that are available to us. It seems like the last one that gives us 2800 is the one you would want to buy 
as every other pack doesn't give us the amount of SG we want. That costs around 9,800 AC. So in order to purchase that, we also need to get the most expensive AC pack, which is around 80 pounds and offers you 10,300 AC. Looking at these calculations, I don't think that buying SG is worth it. Furthermore, the price list isn't as rewarding as the AC one, but again, please make up your own mind with this information. At this point, it's important to know that the free daily pulls you get on the SG Scratch do not count towards getting that exchange ticket. I have been doing my free SG pulls since the game was released and the number of pulls I have made towards getting the exchange ticket hasn't increased at all. Now, before I go into the marketplace stuff, aka where free-to-play players can get their fashion, I want to talk about the outfits themselves and their color variations. This is something that surprised me as well, so please pay attention. Basically, when a scratch ticket is announced, it is introduced with a video where it shows the outfit designs. But for each of these outfits, there are more color variants than those shown in the video. So for example, when I first saw the current AC waiting scratch, I didn't particularly like anything. But when it was released in the game, I realized that there are more color variants of the same outfits and I ended up really loving a couple of them. It's worth noting that you can change the color of any outfit in the game, but for that you will need an item called N Color Change Pass. At the moment, unfortunately, there is no consistent way of getting these. I know that they are a reward for pulling on the AC scratch, but that's about it. As a free to play, it's kinda hard to get them, but I think in the future, Sega will add at least a couple of ways of getting a few of them for free every now and then. Bottom line is buy an outfit in a color that you like so you don't have to go through the extra step of changing its color through the end color change pass. It's important to know that at least for the accessories they automatically change color in order to match the colors of your main piece. So no color change pass is needed for them. You can also change their color manually for no extra cost. Here is the part where I explain how free-to-play players, or in fact anyone, can get all of these outfits in the game for no real money cost at all. While the SG prices are not tradable, meaning that if you get something that you don't want to keep, you cannot sell it, the AC prices are tradable and can be purchased from the market. If you want to list items on the market, you need to be paying for a premium subscription, but you don't need to pay any real money in order to access the market and buy stuff from it. The currency used to purchase things from the market is called an meseta. This is the standard currency the game has and by standard I mean that's your reward for completing your dailies, weeklies and any other type of quest. As a result, it is something that you are consistently rewarded with and so you can save it up in order to spend on cosmetics. Here is how to optimally buy stuff from the market. My tip is to wait at least 2-3 to three days after the AC scratch has come out in order to allow for the prices to stabilize. As you can imagine, where things come out first, they're expensive, but after a few days prices become more affordable. In fact, getting a new outfit can be very inexpensive. Keep in mind that after the prices have stabilized after the first 2-3 days, usually things will start getting expensive again, so make sure to make your move in that time frame. Now I'm going to give you an idea of the prices in Enmeseta as well as a reference point to show you how cheap stuff can be. For completing all of your dailies in a week you will be awarded with 200,000 Enmeseta. Granted, this is a big chunk of your weekly money gain, but you can definitely spend some of it on cosmetics. In order to see how much an item costs, the easiest way is to go to the price list and click on check market price. Then the market window shows up and displays the same outfit sorted by price. As you can see, some of them are definitely very affordable. Of course, others tend to be more popular and thus expensive, but you can always spend a few days to grind up the money and buy it. Don't forget that certain parts of every outfit could be turned off. This can drastically change the aesthetic of your look. 
You only need to go to the salon and experiment with the choices you have for each outfit. Knowing this information, perhaps you will grow to love a few pieces more than before. This is completely free by the way, so you don't need to spend any SG or salon passes. Saving your look is very important, especially if you have spent money or passes to modify your body type and or color of your hair or outfit. This is really easy to do. Press escape on your keyboard and go to the gear slash sub palette menu. Through that, choose the customize looks option, then choose looks and that should take you to the look template menu where you can save its of your looks in a different save slot. For convenience, name your outfit something descriptive that you will remember and click save. You can also rewrite or delete any save as you wish. Now, if you click on any of the saves, its associated outfit and accessories will load to your character without you needing to go to the salon to change. Have you gotten too many duplicates of the same item and you don't know what to do with them? No problem, in PSO2 and GS you can consume a maximum of two of the same item. The first one binds the specific outfit or accessory to your character. The second one makes it available for all the other characters you have on your account. If you keep getting duplicates of the same item, you can bring them to the exchange shop. Through the shop's menu, find the appropriate token exchange and trade your items. Please note that this method is only available for the SG Scratch items. There are some stuff you can buy with that currency, but for now, maybe it's best to hold on to it, as it's possible Sega will add cooler rewards to be exchanged for in that shop in the near future. So that was it for the day. I hope that you have found this video helpful. My goal was to include all the stuff I wish I would have known before getting involved into the fashion aspects of this game. If you have anything else you want to add, please do so in the comments below. Thank you for watching, happy fashion, and I will see you next time.